and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip, part two of our Inspire series on their scoring protocol. According to the notice for Inspire scoring rules, there will be five steps in calculating the Inspire score. Step one, each deficiency will be assigned one of the following designations. The REACT levels were easy. They were one, two, three, but they are no longer. So under INSPIRE, you will have the following. You will have life-threatening health and safety, severe non-life-threatening health and safety. You'd have moderate health and safety, and you'd have advisory, not a health and safety at all. Each of those categories will have three inspectable areas, the outside, the inside, and the unit. Now remember that what HUD told us when we were changing over to INSPIRE, they're going to put more emphasis on the unit than the outside. Step two, each of the inspectable areas of the five categories will carry a weight, which be, will be called the total defect points, the total defect points, to assist in the calculation formula for scoring the inspection. The next step will allow you to obtain what's called the total defect points to accomplish this multiply how many units you have times the deficiencies and you will come up with a defect severity category. The next step, after you get the total defect points, you will divide them by however many units were inspected. This is called the total size adjusted defect. After you get that, you will subtract that from 100, a base of 100, and that will be your score. For instance, if that size amount came to, let's say, 50, and you subtract it from 100, your score will be 50. And you know 50 is a failing score. However, let me just tell you this little quick note. Regardless to what your overall score is, if your final unit defect deduction is over 30, the inspection will fail anyway. So make sure you read those notices. Before with REACT, we prepared to get ready for REACT. We went through the units. We told our residents they had to do blase, blase, blase. The scoring is a lot easier with INSPIRE, but it does not entail all of the things that REACT had in it. And if you get a 30 in the unit score, you're going to fail the REACT inspection. So take a look at that notice and we'll see you next time where we'll write out an example of a score. Thanks. We look forward to seeing you next week for another Tuesday tip.